In today's video, I'm here to share with you every single fragrance I've worn over the past week. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. My name is Aisha from simplyaisha.com. Here on YouTube, I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're interested in, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So as I said, today's video, I'll be sharing with you every single fragrance I've worn over the past week. And actually this time around, it's gonna be more than a week. So I have lots of fragrances to share with you. I typically wear fragrances at least twice a day. So I have a ton of fragrances. I have some layering combos mixed in and we do these vlog style. So that means that every day when I'm spraying on my fragrance, I let you guys know what I'm wearing, a little bit about the fragrance and why I chose it for that particular occasion. At the end of the video, I'll come back and give you guys my three standout fragrances, whether those be standouts for good reasons or bad reasons. So let's go ahead and get into this week's fragrances. Good morning, y'all. So today is Sunday. It's New Year's Eve, and I am getting ready to go to a theme park with my family. I'm just going to SeaWorld, though, so it's no rise or anything, and um, it's cold today. So I had a little bit more liberty in what fragrance I can choose. Anyway, I started out by applying this Vanilla Musk fragrance oil. I just applied this on top of my regular unscented lotion and this smells like Vanilla Musk. It smells incredible. So I started out with this and then the fragrance I'm wearing today is Material by Amouage and this is gorgeous as well. This is a vanilla scent, but it is not your basic vanilla. It's not a gourmand vanilla. It is sweet. It's thick smelling. It has... Um, incense in it like frankincense in it um so it kind of has this resonance vibe to it and it also kind of smells like there's some slightly animalic musk in it so that's why i paired it with the vanilla musk but it is good y'all i love this fragrance and i've worn this little combo before um, i've layered these together before and i just really feel like the like the oil just amps up the smell of the material without changing it but yeah this is a gorgeous scent and this is what I'm wearing today because I wanted to feel all cozy. Hey y'all, it's Sunday night, so it's New Year's Eve night. I am hanging out at home, but I still want to smell really special. I'll be staying up until the ball drops, so I'll be up for a while. But the fragrance I decided to wear tonight is Louis Prince from Christian Louboutin. This is a gorgeous, like, sandalwood, vanilla tonka type scent. It's really smooth and it's really, really well done. Very elegant, but still also kind of cozy, also kind of sexy. Like, it's just a good one. And it sounds simple, but it is done really, really well. So again, this is what I am wearing for tonight. Happy Monday, happy new year. Today I am wearing Alexander J Imperial Peacock. It's been a while since I wore this, but this one is an interesting one to me. It's kind of like a... um like a boozy cinnamon type fragrance, but then it also has kind of sharp greenness to it at the opening that reminds me of Ooh for Happiness from Initio. Anyway, it is a beautiful scent and I haven't worn it in a while and I was putting my fra I was putting some fragrances away and saw this beautiful bottle. I was like, why not just wear that today? So yeah, this is what I'm wearing and I layered it on top of the Fenty Cinnamon Sugar, what's this called? shimmering whipped oil body cream but anyway this smells like snickerdoodles snickerdoodles to me so it's warm cinnamon sugar type of scent uh kind of intense in smell so i don't use it a ton but when it goes with something that i am wearing it works really really well so yeah this is what i'm wearing for today Hey y'all, it's Monday night and tonight I'm wearing Gourmand Coquine by Guerlain. This is a sweet kind of chocolatey raspberry scent. I also believe this has some rose in it, but overall it gives me the vibes of like a raspberry cordial. So it's slightly boozy as well and it's slightly powdery. It is gorgeous, delicious smelling, but still very refined and very Guerlain like. So I decided to wear this tonight because as I was putting away some fragrances, I saw this in my collection. I was like, you know what? I'm wearing that tonight because previously I really didn't wear it much because it was discontinued. However, they have re-released it under a new name called Fev Gourmand. So I don't feel bad about using it, even though I never should have felt bad about using it anyway. <laughs> but you know, sometimes my brain just works like that. Anyway, <laughs> this is what I'm wearing for tonight. Good morning, y'all. Happy Tuesday. So I'm getting ready to go to the gym. So the fragrance I decided to pick for that is this Clean Reserve H2O collection. This is called Golden Citrus. 
I'm not going to really talk about this fragrance because I do have a video coming out about this line, um, a sponsored video. <laughs> thankfully <laughs> so um but i did want to share it because i wanted to be honest that i am wearing this right now so yeah this is what i'm wearing right now hey y'all it's still tuesday i'm showered and dressed for the day and today i'm wearing 18 vanilla nera by letta so this fragrance was sent to me and i will have some more content coming up on it but what i will say for right now is that it is a spicy vanilla that is not too sweet but it definitely has some sweetness to it and i decided to wear this today because it's kind of cold today and i wanted something kind of comforting but i didn't want it to go like full-on gourmand so yeah this is what i'm wearing for today hey y'all it's tuesday night and tonight i start out by applying this boom boom body for mesa oil um this smells like the boom boom cream from sol de janeiro exactly like the original so i start out by applying this and then my fragrance for tonight is Dolce and Gabbana Devotion. So this is a beautiful kind of lemony orange blossom scent, but the lemon in here is more like candied lemon, not like a real lemon. So it gives it just this extra sweet playfulness and then um, a beautiful vanilla. I have talked about this fragrance in more details. So I'll try to remember to link that video for you all, but I decided to go for Devotion tonight because I really just wanted something easy going, pretty girl. And I feel like this falls into that category. It's not too gourmand, even though it is sweet, but it's not like overly sweet where it will make me nauseous or anything like that, or it's not overly strong. So yeah, I just wanted something easy going that was pretty. So I decided to wear this tonight. Hey y'all, so it's actually Wednesday night and I realized I forgot to come on this morning and share with you guys what I was wearing. Um, but we're just going to wrap it up into tonight's fragrance because I'm actually wearing the same thing tonight. So the fragrance that I'm wearing tonight and this morning is Vanilla Sex from Tom Ford. And the reason I'm wearing this is because I really wanted to get my final opinions on this before I film my video. Um, so yeah, hopefully the Vanilla Sex video will be out before this video that you're actually seeing. Um, but overall, this is like a almondy vanilla scent. So this was my scent uh, earlier today just by itself. And then tonight, I wanted to try to layer it because I have not layered it as of yet. And so I decided to go in with this oil. This is the Tihota body oil from Fragrance, from Fragrant Body Oils. And I mixed this in with my lotion. And then I also sprayed on another 13 from the Labo. And then on top of that, I put the vanilla six. So that's probably giving you some sort of clue of what I think about vanilla six. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's what I'm wearing for tonight. Good morning, y'all. Happy Thursday. So I'm getting ready to run out of the house. It's pretty early in the morning. Uh, Noah has speech therapy today. So I'm getting ready to take on a speech. And then when I come back, I'm probably going to work out. So I'm not really showered and dressed for the day. So I decided to spray, to spray on this clean skin reserve blend um this smells like just like fresh out of the shower skin i do have a video kind of talking more about this fragrance but i do really enjoy this for just smelling good without trying hard you can see i put pretty pretty good dent in it so yeah this is what i'm wearing for this part of the day Hey y'all, so it's still Thursday and my fragrance for the actual day is Basilica from Milano for Grins. I picked this up not too long ago. This is my second time wearing it, but this is kind of hard to describe scent for me. <laughs> if you saw my haul video where I featured this, I talked about it smelling like pasta kind of because <laughs> I feel like I can smell like basil and other Italian spices. And um, so, yeah, I'm trying to decide, like, if this is for me, because at first smell, I was like, no, I don't want to smell like pasta. But I will say wearing it on the skin, it doesn't really smell like pasta, but I definitely still pick up the basil. I do pick up those same green Italian spices, but this has some woodiness to it and some incense in it. I was just hoping it would be more incensey. But yeah, anyway, <laughs> I decided to wear this today because I wanted to kind of see how it did. And I'm basically going to be at home for today. So to me, this is a good time to try it out. Plus, it's still really cold today. So I feel like this one is slightly comforting. I just don't know that it's going to be something that I love. So yeah, this is what I'm wearing for today. Hey, y'all. It's Thursday night. And tonight, I'm wearing Tobacco Lore because guess what, y'all? It is date night. It's 
been a long time. <laughs> it's been a long time since our last date night. So yeah, I'm wearing this because it's cold. Tobacco Lore is a very sweet honey tobacco scent. And I was thinking about wearing tobacco honey from Guerlain. However, I feel like that one I can kind of get away with year round for nighttime. But Tobacco Lore is a little bit too sweet and thick to wear year round. So I want to take advantage of these cold days and wear this baby now. So yeah, we're going to like a speakeasy and then to dinner. So I feel like this is perfect like speakeasy type vibe so yeah this is what i'm wearing for tonight hey y'all happy friday so today i start out by applying this vanilla lotion from victoria's secret pink i feel like i mentioned this in every single video but it is a gourmand vanilla that's not too overpowering um so yeah i started out by applying this and then the fragrance that I'm wearing for today is Burberry Goddess. This is a gourmand vanilla that has some lavender to it that keeps it from being like overly sweet. Um, it is just beautiful, easy to wear. And the reason I decided to wear this today is because my kids have a play date. So we have some people coming over. So I wanted something that smelled good and it's still on the coldish side. So I wanted something that smelled good, but I didn't want to wear anything offensive. I just really wanted to smell good. And yeah. That's why I went for this one. Hey y'all, it's Friday night and tonight I start out by applying this Cherry Nova uh, body oil mixed in with my body lotion. So this is the scent of honey cloves and cherry. This was sent to me by Brooklyn Dream, but I absolutely love this. It smells so good. The cherry is deep. It does not smell medicinal and then the cloves really just like spice this up and make it very warm. So yeah, I started out by mixing this in with my body lotion. And then I went in with Eclats de Amans by Comptoir Sud Pacifique. This is a really good basic almond scent. So it is a little bit sweet. It's nutty. Um, it's not really milky, but it definitely is like a creamy almondy scent. So um, I started out by applying this as my base layer of fragrance. And then on top, I spray Electric Cherry by Tom Ford. So this fragrance is opens up really beautifully. It's a kind of sweet, juicy cherry scent and it has florals in the background. This fragrance is not my favorite. <laughs> I've talked about this in multiple videos and everything. It opens, it opens beautifully, but to me, the cherry goes away too quickly and just becomes a floral and it's very light. Um, anyway, I sprayed it on top of these other things to see how it would do. And y'all, I just walked in here and saw this fragrance and was like, what am I gonna try to layer this with? That's how I decided what I was wearing tonight. <laughs> so I didn't, when I got out of the shower, I had no idea what I was wearing. I um, walked in my closet and was like, what am I going to wear? And I just came up with this combo on the fly. So yeah, that's what I'm wearing for tonight. Good morning, y'all. Happy Saturday. So today I'm not really feeling the best, but unfortunately I have some commitment that I have to fulfill. So I wanted to wear something that was kind of cozy and I didn't know what I was going to wear. I was just looking at my collection and I realized I have not worn this in ages. So I decided to wear this. This is Lure Vert by Killian. And... The reason I haven't worn it in ages is because to me this is a strict this is strictly a cold weather scent. So anyway, this is part of the liquors collection and this one is based on the absinthe liquor. So to me it kind of smells like licorice and other spices. It's slightly aromatic, very cozy and warm and enveloping. Definitely unisex. Um I feel like at first spray I thought it was like totally masculine, but on the skin to me it sweetens up, warms up and smells really good and comforting. So yeah, this is what I'm wearing for today. Hey y'all, it's Saturday night and tonight I started out by applying my coffee and whiskey body cream from Bath and Body Works. And yeah, this smells like the name, coffee and whiskey. It's not extremely boozy um, and it's not extremely like overpowering coffee. It smells really good. And then the fragrance I'm wearing tonight is a more cafe from Mancera. I have a whole video dedicated to this fragrance, but in short, it is a coffee like vanilla fragrance. And I decided to wear this tonight because to me, this is kind of a cozy, comforting scent. I still don't feel my best. So I just wanted something that like made me feel good. I needed a hug in a bottle tonight and I feel like this is one of those type of fragrances. So yeah, this is what I'm wearing for tonight. Hey y'all, happy Sunday. So yeah, I'm doing extra days and the reason why is because um, if you remember me talking yesterday, I didn't feel good. And so I decided to not pressure myself to get the video done. And um, I posted another video that I was already planning on putting up later this week anyway, because it was already done. So that being said, y'all are getting extra days out of this um, fragrance rotation video. So it's Sunday again. Hi, I'm getting ready to go to church. It's cold. And today I am going to wear Le Lion by Chanel. So 
Here's the bottle. This is my first time wearing it. Can you believe it? <laughs> I purchased this in October in Las Vegas in person, but I haven't worn it yet. And it's because it is a heavy scent. So I knew it had to be cold and I was kind of saving it for a nighttime occasion, but I was like, you know what? I'm just going to wear it because how many more cold days are we going to get? So yeah, this is, I believe it has oud in here. It's definitely a dark, what smells like oudy scent to me. Um, it also kind of smells a little bit ambery. Um, and overall it's like a boss lady scent or a boss guy scent. I love it. I don't have much more to say about it. Cause like I said, it's my first time wearing it, but yeah, this is what I am wearing to church on this cold winter day. Hey y'all. So it is Sunday night and tonight I sprayed two sprays of Fanny Flames X because I needed to try this out. I hadn't worn it yet and y'all. I wasn't even going to share this with y'all, but I scrubbed it off. So needless to say, this one's leaving. So yeah, so I started out by wearing this. It's off now. And the fragrance I switched to is just something very girly. So let me show you what I'm wearing, what I'm actually wearing now. So the fragrance I'm actually wearing tonight, it's Flower Balm Ruby Orchid. Ruby Orchid. And I decided to wear this because I just wanted something playful, flirty, girly, um, nothing too serious and that fall and this falls right into that category so this smells like the original bo flower bomb but fruitier sweeter and lighter definitely more fun so yeah this is what I'm wearing for today hey y'all happy Monday so today I am wearing eyes closed by Barreto um this is actually my first time wearing this this was inspired <laughs> or influenced by one of you all I can't remember her name but if I can find the comment I will pop it on the screen but she told me this smells like carrot cake and I came across it on a deal I had a gift card so I was like do it so yeah this is my first time wearing it it's a sweet spicy gourmand leaning fragrance and it's warm that's all I really have to say about it right now because um like I said it's my first time wearing it but this is what I'm wearing for today hey y'all happy Tuesday so the fragrance I'm wearing today is queer beluga this is a dark like leathery vanilla and today is a cloudy day schools are actually closed because it's supposed to be so windy which I really don't understand but hey here we are <laughs> So this is going to be kind of like a, it's like a gloomy looking day outside. So I felt like Queer Beluga was just a great choice because it's very like comforting, but not in like a, um, I don't know, it's almost like a comforting but sexy kind of vibe. I love this fragrance. It's kind of new to my collection. And so I decided to go for this today. So as per usual, I had a really great fragrance week. I felt like because it's cold, I, I was able to kind of pull out some of my heavier fragrances and I just really enjoyed playing in my fragrances. So I do have three standouts. The first one is actually a combo. So this is Cherry Nova from Brooklyn Dream. This is a body oil. And then on top of that, I put Eclat de Amans from Contour Sud Pacifique. And on top of that, I put Electric Cherry from Tom Ford. And the reason this is a standout combination is because, y'all, this Cherry Nova oil is hitting. Like, it really made a difference in how this smelled. And I just smelled amazing. And I actually received a great compliment from my husband on this pair. And I have worn Electric Cherry around him plenty of times. He's never said anything. My husband, if you guys watch my videos, you all already probably know this, but my husband doesn't compliment me on fragrances a ton. Sometimes he does compliment me, but a lot of times he doesn't smell my fragrances. And I think this, I think I've ruined him honestly <laughs> because I'm always wearing something or like sometimes my friends would be like, you just always smell good. So um, he doesn't compliment me all the time. So when he does compliment me, it really stands out to me and i just felt like this just smelled amazing together and i really think the star of this show is the cherry nova body oil the second standout is luby prince from christian louboutin i don't wear this fragrance that much i haven't had it i mean i've had it a while but i got it when it was hot and i knew i was saving it for colder weather so i've only worn it probably like three or four times but y'all this smells so amazing oh my gosh i wore this i think new year's eve and y'all, I couldn't have picked a better scent. I was just over there, like all up in my aroma, just feeling myself. <laughs> my husband did give me a give me a compliment on this too, but 
But that's not why it's a standout. It's a standout because of me. Like my, the compliment that he gave me was more like me saying, man, I smell good. He was like, yeah, you smell good. <laughs> you know, so I don't really count that as a compliment. But y'all, I just, I was smelling amazing wearing this. This was a perfect option. So this is my second standout. And then my third standout is Fan Your Flames X from Nishane. And I'm sure if you were watching the video, then you know this is a standout for a bad reason, which doesn't happen very often. But y'all, I had to scrub this off. I'm not even a scrubber person. Like I can usually have a fragrance be on me and just, you know, if it's not my favorite, I'll usually just let it stay on me, see how it goes. But y'all, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. This was way too masculine. And I don't even think I like the way it smells. Um, I don't know why, because I love the way the original Fan Your Flame smells, but for some reason, this one smells like they added like marijuana to it or something. I don't, I don't know, but I don't like it. And um, I've heard good things about this. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and sell this one, declutter it. I was thinking about giving it to my husband, but I, I just don't think I like it. I much prefer the original Fan Your Flame. So I think I'm just going to sell this on my Mercari. So those were all the fragrances I wore over the week and my standout fragrances. Let me know if you've tried any of the fragrances that I talked about. Also, let me know what was your standout fragrance for the past week, whether that be for a good reason or a bad reason. I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.